Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a Modern Warfare Season 5. It's going to be coming very, very soon within the next two weeks. And honestly, we got some pretty exciting stuff happening with the game. We're going to talk about possibly new maps, new weapons, new war zone changes. I'm going to show you guys some of the leaks if you haven't seen them already. Or some of the official leaks, I should say, because Call of Duty has been sending certain creators certain little leak videos videos of security feed footage from the new warzone map so we're going to start with the new map and this is all stuff that i've just read on you know charlie intel Dexerto, twitter all that stuff about what is leaking but what i've heard is that there is going to be a new gunfight map called train yard now probably just going to be one of the very close quarter areas on the train yard in verdansk now i think it would be really really cool if they added some sort of map on like a rooftop if they did the train yard rooftop with like you know maybe raise some things or put some extra cover in there or something but i feel like that would be a really cool map concept to have like a 2v2 map just on a rooftop and you could fall off the map all that good stuff i think that'd be a cool concept let me know what you guys think but we are going to be getting some sort of train yard map apparently it was found in the game files now speaking of the train yard let's just dive right into some of these warzone leaks and then i'll show you the official leak videos here very very shortly so some of the things that should be coming to warzone are the train in the train yard it's actually going to move and go around the map there's been a train horn in one of the official videos leaked um and yeah the train's actually going to move and probably have loot and be an armored train it's going to be a camp fest in there so that's coming there's going to be some sort of nuke hitting the map and probably hitting stadium and stadium should be opened up and i'm assuming they're using the nuke to open up stadium like the nuke is going to hit it but it's probably going to be all destroyed and like ruined so we'll see what happens there but um those are the main things stadium and the train along with the nuke hitting the map and we'll probably see a pretty big cosmetic change around the entire map i'm just wondering if they're going to do anything with like you know little gas pockets or something or radiation or something around the map that's going to damage you from this nuke i'm very very interested to see how that all works out but let's talk about some weapons and then we'll hop back to warzone in just a moment so weapon wise we are looking at probably the intervention and spaz 12 that is what i have been reading those are the two weapons that have been data mined so we are probably looking at the intervention and spaz 12 weapons from the other modern warfare games which is awesome the intervention is probably going to make a ton of noise in the community however i do want to say we did just see the Rytec amr and that's a 50 caliber semi-automatic gun so it's basically we could just call it the barrett 50 cal so seeing the intervention so quickly after that i just don't see it happening but it's very very possible spaz 12 i feel like it's definitely not needed i don't feel like we need another shotgun in the mix but it's up to them what they want to put in their game so before we hop into warzone let's talk about some possible operators now the one that i have seen floating around there's actually two one was soap if you guys don't know soap from the modern warfare games spoiler alert i think he dies in modern warfare 2 but i can't remember i just i think he was sitting there on the table and then like captain price just is looking at you and he's all distraught and he and he just dies right in front of you but um soap mctavish is probably going to be an operator and then there apparently has been a leaked in the game files, data mine, a character named Woods. Now, what I think is since the Warzone is going to have a ton of crossover with the next game, they could be slightly preparing for COD 2020 since it is going to be a Black Ops game. And um, obviously, Woods is a big, big part of the Black Ops series. So I'm kind of assuming it's probably just part of the crossover, kind of getting those game files in there. But I'm not sure. We could easily see woods become a character now i really do think that they're probably going to wait till season six i would assume 2020 cod will be close to if not released by season six um you know at least having some betas and stuff played so maybe they will wait till season six to release woods when the black ops game is out and then if it, it would be like if you pre-order uh black ops cold war you will get the woods character operator for free you know if you pre-order something like that they do that with the previous call of duties and stuff so i wouldn't be surprised there but let's talk about the warzone leaks let's take a look at them so the first one was the train like i said earlier so i'm going to play a video for you guys this video is courtesy of nick merckx's stream that's where we're getting this from 
Um, he was sent the first teaser, so we're going to look at that now. So I'm not sure where we're at. I'm not actually looking at it on screen, but there is a helicopter that flies by. You heard that train horn and all that good stuff there. So this was the first little leak that they sent out. Then the next one is going to be inside the stadium. And I'm not sure if you zoom in, like if you look where the stadium pillars are, if there's a helicopter sitting there. I felt like there was, but I couldn't really tell. So if there is, I can zoom it in on the video, but if there's not, it doesn't really matter. It just shows that stadium is being open and there is a nuke hitting it. So let's check that out right now. What? What is happening? And then the final, the very final teaser that they sent out. Now, apparently one did go to Courage JD, if you don't know who that is, part of Hunter Thieves, but he has not been home to check it yet. So there could be a fourth teaser coming. So make sure you check him out on Twitter and maybe he will tweet it very, very soon in the coming days. But the third and final one was sent to Jack Frags, popular Battlefield player back in the day, now switching recently to Warzone. Um, and it just shows a destroyed camera. It looks like it's at the airport, but it could be at the newly destroyed stadium. But the camera is like glitching out. There's cracks in the lens and it just looks like the nuke literally just hit. So let's check that one out. Now, I know that clip's only about six seconds, so I tried to time it pretty well here in the recording. But very interesting stuff. It's nice to see them giving us little leaks and teasers and stuff. Just not hitting us out of the blue with a whole bunch of changes. I like building the hype up a little bit, but... You know, at the end of the day, I'm really hoping they can at least tone back some skill-based matchmaking in Warzone and make it a lot more fun than it is. I honestly, you know, want to make a full video on it, but there's the community is so divided against it, mainly because casual players versus the competitive players, and then the competitive players want to smack around the casual players, and the casual players don't want that, and there's a majority of casual players, but it's another topic for another video, maybe soon to come, but I just want to start having a lot more fun on Call of Duty, and, um, you know, when these new seasons come out, all I do is want to play. And I just get smacked around by these sweat lords rocking their CDL camos. So, guys, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Chill with sponsors and equipment in the description below. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm out.